let's see what reagents and supplies are required for breadford assay to determine the protein concentration yahan pe bhi if we have to prepare this standard curve we need standards that is bovine serum albumin solution of different concentration so that we can use that protein sample for preparation of standard curve because we know what concentration of these solutions are then we need the breadford reagent that is the comessi brilliant blue stain we need methanol we need phosphoric acid these three reagents are going to be used to prepare the breadford reagent how we can prepare this reagent we need to be very careful because it uses the phosphoric acid a strong acid we have to be very careful when we need to prepare this reagent for that purpose we take 50 mg of massive brilliant blue stain g250 is its number or its code number and we dissolve it in 50 ml of methanol so stain is 50 mg in 50 ml of ethanol and then we add 100 ml of 85% phosphoric acid weight by volume is ka solution banta hai this solution is then used for final volume preparation up to 1 liter for that purpose we take this acid solution and we add it in 850 ml of water we add it slowly and we let the stain mix up there is the critical step we need to add the acid solution into the water don't add water into the acid solution it can create problem once the volume up to 1 liter is ready and it appears that all the comessive blue stain powder stain is dissolved in that particular volume then we can filter it using the watman number no. 1 filter paper which is one of the requirement for uh, in the reagents and supplies and after filtration we have to store this stain in a dark bottle either you can use brown bottle or if brown bottle is not available there is availability of transparent bottle that bottle should be covered by aluminum foil so that this stain should not be exposed to the light and it remains stable for its function the storage temperature for this particular stain is at 4 degree centigrade besides this reagent we need spectrophotometer for absorbance optical density measurement then we need vertex mixer we need watman number no. 1 filter paper for filtration step glass funnel and the protein samples for which we have to determine the concentration that is the unknown concentration samples of proteins